Yo, what's up? It's Yo Remy, and I'm back. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about how I build and validate MVPs so quickly and some of the tools that I use. So you've probably seen some of my other videos, which you can actually check down here below in the links, but I've given a lot of examples and um, kind of done these short condensed videos of, for instance, Studio Time, which is a marketplace, which is now the largest online community of music studios in the world. Uh, our chatbot, which is the chatbot that I built now, is that generated thousands of messages, and then some other quick kind of videos about these initial ideas that I took to MVP literally in hours, sometimes without actually coding anything, um, and simply by leveraging pre existing tools that are out there and adapting them towards my needs for these products and launching them and getting traction and generating revenue with these. And some of these are even turned into actual startups themselves and own companies. All right, so let's get started. So one of the first things I do wanna talk about though um, is kind of my mindset on an MVP. So there's a lot of people out there, uh, a lot of back and forth going on like MVP, which first off stands for minimum, minimum viable product, which a lot of people are for or against that. But basically kind of what it boils down to in my mind is validating one thing. Um, and that is the kind of problem you're trying to solve or the, you know, the functionality, the, the tool that you're trying to build um, for people. Uh, and you're trying to basically uh, validate, is this something people want? Um, if you're going to charge for it, it can be a minimum sellable product, which I like to call, um, which means are people willing to pay for this product and you're not giving it away um, if you're going to charge for it. And you're trying to just validate, uh, you know, are people willing to pay for it? Um, we'll talk about, you know, uh, some of the different, I would say, kind of forms of MVPs. The first is a marketplace, which I think is very straightforward. So it can be a, a marketplace um, such as Studio Time, which is kind of the tagline is the Airbnb for music studios. Um, and that basically uh, applies to other marketplace where you're um, renting out spaces or renting out uh, some, some kind of physical spaces. It's like another example is Breather, which is kind of like for, for shared office spaces and underutilized office spaces. There's also uh, other types of marketplaces, such as goods and services marketplaces. Um, and another, some other examples might be Etsy. What I recommend doing though is just simply starting with one and not try to get into uh, having spaces, goods, and services all in one. For an MVP, simply try to validate that one, that you're just saying, hey, if this is who we are and what we do, then the product is gonna do that at first and we're gonna build this and validate it. A good example of this is Studio Time actually has profiles for producers and engineers. Um, since the main marketplace is for music studios and I understood that there's a need for those services when people book studios, but I don't focus on it now. That was something that was added after the concept of people wanting to book music studios was validated. So start with one thing and try to do that uh, as best as you can and kind of go, you know, try to scale that and then you can kind of go more horizontal once you've already scaled with complementary. One of the tools that I use and I mentioned in my other videos is ShareTribe. So I'll link down here to ShareTribe. It's a turnkey marketplace uh, platform. Very straightforward. You should be able to get a marketplace set up literally in hours. With that one use case, there are gonna be some product constraints, but you will be able to, to validate uh, capturing both supply and demand and the intent to to book or purchase through the marketplace and kind of take that you know and kind of build out a more feature re uh, robust kind of platform from the initial MVP but you'll be able to validate. Now, another one that I wanna talk about uh, are communities. So there's a lot of uh, you know startups that are kind of community-based. And one, one, uh, one thing that I like to do uh, when um, validating community-based startups is to simply start with uh, creating a Facebook group. Um, so you can go to facebook.com slash groups and search pre-existing groups that are out there. And then you can see, you know, these are a lot of these are interest based, location based um, or whatnot. But um, most likely there's probably already a group that is relevant to, to the community that you're trying to start. And you can kind of see, okay, what, you know, what people are, are involved, are part of this group, you know, how are they engaging? Uh, what topics are they talking about or whatnot? Which is very valuable feedback that you can then take to your community 
startup idea. So of course, what you can do is then you can create your own group and literally it's a lot easier to simply invite people and market a Facebook group versus doing a native app or a website because no one knows about that. And you're basically using a, a platform, which Facebook, of course, which everyone spends their time on. So it's easier to get people's attention and and get them on as a user or part of your community. Uh, and then of course, if you do wanna take that and kind of you know test some of your messaging through that, some of the topics you're talking about, you know, and whatnot, and kind of evolve your community, you can eventually then, you know, your community can kind of power whatever the website or the app that you're uh, gonna then build out. Um, and you can start to then push some of that traffic or some of those community members toward you know, your native app or your website. All right, um, a good example of this is how a lot of Facebook groups are actually built around pre-existing startups, such as Chatbots Magazine is actually um, part of Octane AI. So they leverage a, a community on Facebook talking about Chatbots for their main kind of startup uh, platform or product, which is Octane AI. Another one is Stacking Growth or Badass Marketers or Founders. Um, those are for uh, existing groups that they built very successfully and they actually have agencies uh, as their main business and they use those you know basically for building communities and then pushing leads towards their agencies all right so another one that i uh, talked about uh, in another video which i'll link down here for our chatbot is chatbots now chatbots are great for building mvps because literally they're so easy to build the basic functionality of them uh, is kind of is uh, is conversation design through Facebook Messenger. Um, you can do very kind of lightweight, uh, I would say, um, validation through chatbots. And then you can also use um, a lot of integrations as you want to build out and kind of test further functionality. Now, uh, Octane AI is a platform that's out there that makes it easy to build a chatbot. Um, another one is ChatFuel, which I mentioned in my past video. So I've used this uh, for a few different chatbots, but one in particular that I mentioned, and I'll link down here again, is our chatbot, which I literally built in hours and I, and I generated thousands of messages. Um, so it's a very straightforward build, and that was for people to, to discover um, our work and be able to purchase through, through Messenger. Uh, another one that I built was actually a personal chatbot for myself. So I kind of packaged up a Yo Rumi playbook and I'll link down here below to that. Um, but it's a great way for me to, uh, you know, leverage a chatbot for building my personal brand. So if you're looking to build a chatbot, I would highly recommend Octane AI or ChatFuel. And I have an example down here for the article in the other video that kind of dives into more detail about that MVP. Another uh, type of MVP is for a sales-based or service space and in my experience honestly the easiest way to, to uh, kind of create an MVP around that and validate um, is by using a, a tool called Instapage. Instapage is very easy to get started using. They actually have best practice templates and I'll show an example here for uh, a concept that I was trying to validate which was called Seedly. So this was a startup that makes it easy for anyone to invest their spare change into startups. So how I validated that through Instapage and it what Seedly was actually a native app was I had designed this kind of main landing page that has you know the the uh, main message it, and it kind of expanded upon through some visuals showing some of the functionality of what Seedly was. And then I simply had a, a call to action, which was, a, a, or you could call it in this case, was actually an email capture. And from that email capture, then after you know a certain percentage of people that hit the site, then gave me their email, then I could use uh, other tools to automate emails to them to send them deals for startups and see are they invested in this and just kind of you know see from, from once i got the interest in kind of try to see like how far i could kind of take a potential user through this kind of initial validation using instapage which is actually kind of pre-validating a native app um so i've given you some examples of how you can validate MVPs uh, literally using minimal to no code in hours and these are for marketplaces, uh, for community based startups, for chatbots and sales or services which can also be SaaS tools. 
Um, I would highly recommend that you, uh, once you have the kind of very defined um, objective or value prop um, or, or what you're doing for this startup concept, simply search what's out there and try to find tools that do that one thing very, very good. Um, or if it doesn't, then j just kind of think about, well, can I just simply validate that what the main kind of validation objective is? And you can a lot of times also modify these tools, use multiple tool integrations, but you can have a product live and get started um, generating initial interest and start talking to users because these people are, you know, actual kind of users at this point once they're once they're kind of using this product and get some validation because at the end of the day, you need to figure out and what I've been trying to figure out through all of these side projects I build and MVPs is, is this something truly people want and if I'm going to charge if they're willing to pay for because I want to make sure that it's worth my time and adding additional resources to then take these two startups and you know revenue generating startups. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you can take kind of my experience and my side projects and the tools that I use and put them to work so you can build your MVP quickly using minimal time in coding. All right, so comment down here below. Let me know any questions you have about any of these tools and I'll try to answer them. Hit subscribe so I keep making these videos. Thanks.